Bauer Surface Conditioning Tool is an absolute beast, and it is definitely worth the $150 price point. So in today's video, we'll be talking about my experience with the Bauer Conditioning Tool on my Jeep. First impressions, my overall experience, specs, and more. These are pretty big. The material is very interesting. This is the 240 grit. Dang, got the 40 grit drum, 120 grit. I purchased the Bauer Surface Conditioning Tool in store from Harbor Freight, and the first time I bought it, yes, I said the first time. First time I bought it, I brought it home, and in order to change out the drums on the tool, there's a bolt that you have to loosen up and remove. That bolt was so seized up that I started to bend the small wrench that came with the tool. So I went back to Harbor Freight, returned it, got a second one. When I was at the checkout counter, the cashier was telling me, oh, you're going to get $50 back on your card. So when I spent the $150 originally, this time the price was $100. And, you know, I was like, why? What's going on? She was telling me that they were having a spring sale and their Bauer products were $50 off. So I was thinking, heck yeah, that's awesome. I am glad that bolt seized up. <laughs> because I saved a little bit of money, I decided to get their two-year warranty. It was $20. So out the door for this bad boy, 120 bucks, And it comes with three drums versus the Eastwood that only comes with two. I'm pretty satisfied that I ended up getting the Bauer. So I was curious if you can buy the individual drums, like the three of them that come on the box right here. Here they are. The prices aren't outrageous too. Pretty cool. The day has finally arrived where I'll be putting my Bauer reconditioning stripping tool to the test on my 1986 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Before I start, let me explain my crappy patch job on the back there. Let's go back to 2020 when I first got this Jeep. I tried to put a patch panel on the quarter I didn't know what I was doing. I had less than a year's experience in bodywork and I was just starting out my career at the time doing collision repair. And then eventually I got busy and then I moved out of state for a year. I wasn't sure when exactly I was going to get back at this. Sorry boys and girls, it's a little bit windy out here, but I tried putting this patch panel on the rear with this bumper on. It was rusted on, well it still is rusted on, and it's not coming off without a fight. So that's why this thing is so messed up. Tell me how nasty this thing looks, because we're going to get this thing straightened out. Before I even begin, I'm making sure that I have all the proper PPE. I got some glasses, I got a dusk, dusk a dust mask and some ear protection. And obviously it's a good idea, it's always a good idea. You won't, don't want stuff blown in your eyes and it's gonna get loud and dusty. So always a good idea to protect the only things that you're ever gonna get once. So because I got a lot of filler and a lot of materials, I'm gonna hop straight to this 40 grit and see how it performs. So when I put my drum on, it comes with these two metal rods. I'm gonna turn the drum to create a hole where these rods can land. So I guess this is the way it was designed to lock in the drum. All right, now that those are in, I can put this on. All right, I guess it's lefty, tidy, and righty loosey. <laughs> it is counterclockwise. And I have to lock it here. Okay, I got my drum on, ready to go.
Man, I want to say I'm so sorry. Of course, the first time I start this thing up and use it, got my camera recording, and of course I put my butt to the camera so you can't even see. But hang in there, it's going to get better. After five minutes of using it for the first time, this is what the metal looked like. That 40 grit drum got it pretty smooth. I'm very impressed. This thing is a beast. It's awesome. All right, I'm going to talk about my thoughts and opinions for this part of the video. Like I said before plenty of times, this thing is awesome. I don't regret buying this thing at all over the Eastwood. Did save quite a bit of money. Well, it wasn't too much money, but did save a little bit of money. It does the job, and I love it. So far, I have only stripped the driver's side quarter panel. And right now, my friends and I are in the process of installing two brand new quarters. So make sure you stay tuned for that upcoming video. The Jeep Wagoneer project is in full swing. So if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Because every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for Wagoneer Wednesdays, that's what I call it, I upload a brand new video. We dive deep into the 86 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Hopefully you subscribe if you're a returning subscriber. Thanks a lot for coming back and watching another one of these videos. Stay tuned for all the exciting video uploads coming real soon. Sometime in the near future, I am planning on creating a video of stripping down the entire Wagoneer with the Bauer tool. So if you're interested in the tool and seeing how it performs, stripping the whole thing definitely check out that video by the time you're watching this right now that video may have been dropped if it is it's down in the description box below if you have any questions about the bower please don't hesitate to drop a comment down below i'll do my best to answer you thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one stay tuned have a great day i've been waiting for this day for what feels like to be Years. I am on my way to my friend's house, dropping off the Jeep. The Jeep is going to be living there at my friend's house for maybe a week or two. We are going to get started again on all of the bodywork, everything that needs to be done to prep it out for paint. So follow along as my friend Reed and I go and drop off this piece at my other friend's house.